Hello guys, welcome back. Nice to see you. And today we're going to play Atlantean Magic. <clears throat> I hope it's going to work still. Since uh, the deck hasn't really changed. Yeah. I just hope it's going to be alright. Hey Doro, schön dich zu sehen. Na, wie geht's? Alles im grünen Bereich? Should we keep Undertow Striker? Hab ich deinen Stream gestern verpasst? Ja, wahrscheinlich. Aber ja, ich habe nicht lange gestreamt. Wann ist denn bei dir wieder Baldur's Gate dran? Shuffle Scuttler Sent. Yo, let's go. Glück. Thank you, God Hand. Welcome back. Ich habe keine Benachrichtigung bekommen. Boah, das ist ja komisch. Oh. Keine Ahnung. Schweinerei? Definitiv. I'm not sure. I guess I keep. Knock him dead. Godspeed. So. We're just going to play the first 10 games of Weekend Ranked today. And that's it. Let's see how many ways you can disappoint me. It's fängt meine Stream Serie wieder von vorne an. Oh no. Ardam. Das wird bestimmt ganz fix wieder eine stattliche Serie. Keine Sorge. Ja, aber das ist echt komisch. Ich frag mich, ob das anderen Leuten auch noch so ging. Oh, we have a bombfly. Weil das geht war gestern. Nächstes Mal wahrscheinlich Dienstag. Ah, Dienstag habe ich Frühschicht. Da komme ich rum. Sehr schön. I think we play Raptor to finish the Bombfly. It would appear I'm out of options. Ich darf's nur nicht vergessen. Oh, he got a Necro Scepter. So we definitely have to try to get the Nightleaf Trapper here. Hmm. Ich sag dir Bescheid. Och, danke, das ist so lieb von dir. Let's pip into Boost Walker. Definitely wanna kill the little dragon. I guess. Actually, if we kill the zombie, we end up at 6 favor. If we don't, we are at 8. I guess I want the zombie off. And hopefully we can get this guy next. Got four mana though. If he got Perseverance or Light Bomb or something like that, we have a problem. Ah, just Blackfire Flat. Okay. It's still not too easy. Müssen übrigens unseren Juni-Termin für Swansong canceln. Bin in Luxemburg arbeiten. Oha. Oha. Is da Markt? I think we have to hit the face twice to get the relic removal. And then... We probably wanna kill the zombie. And the flatling. Oh, we cannot kill the flatling. Ah, uh, then I made a mistake. We have to get rid of the relic first. And hmm. Yes, Mittelaltermarkt am Wochenende. Ich strecke hin und zurück. 
Kannst du da wenigstens mitfahren oder musst du das selber organisieren? Hm, I'm not quite sure. I guess Rover should be good. Ich hab mitgenommen, aber trotzdem. Zwei Tage LKW fahren wird großartig. Hm, mm, okay. Ja. Ist wahrscheinlich ein bisschen anstrengend. Ah, du, du schaffst das schon. Es wird bestimmt insgesamt ein cooles Wochenende. Main McFly, welcome back. Nice to see you, man. Let's play Abysswatcher, huh? Aber hey, Arbeit! Oh ja! Let's get rid of Flatling and Looter and Deepwater Whelp and Bombflap. Then we are going to pip into Ping his little dragon. And I think... He shouldn't be able right now to challenge my Abyss. Ragnarök is fine, I don't care. So, ich mache jetzt einen Power Nap. Schlaf gut. Und stell dir einen Wecker, nicht, dass es zu lange wird. Ich kenne diese Power Naps. Ich nehme mir vor, mich nur kurz hinzulegen und dann schlafe ich irgendwie fünf Stunden oder so. Let's start with Striker, actually. We are going to use Dimension Door for a little bit more door. A Rover. Lass dich auf dem Handy laufen. Oh, danke. Sehr edel von. Später. Shall we play Rover? Yes, yes, come on. We got no board vibes. Just Bomb Dragon, we go white. Wollt sich im Chat zu sehen. So. <clears throat> Wicked Fee. I didn't actually expect Wicked Fee in Bomb Dragons. Hmm. But I guess it's fine. Light bomb? Not Lootable. Opsie's getting... Told Grip. So he tries to refresh his hand. I think we're trading the wicked fee off the face and play the dread replicator without dread touch. Raptor are strong. Should be alright. Raptor again and we have no relic removal anymore, but it's now going down to heaven. Looks like lethal actually. Yeah. GG. All right, Atlanteans feels pretty strong. Especially against bomb dragons when you have your, your void removal and when you can grab a relic removal and so on. Feels pretty solid so far. He had no blood parasite though. Hey, Hang, welcome back. Thank you, I'll need the luck for sure. Good luck to you too. Are you starting weekend rank today too, or at the weekend? Our next opponent is Tempest Altar. He's playing Void Watch, uh, Abyss Watcher 2 and Void Watch Serpent. 
Bitter Endings, Neferoskopisch. Over the Line, Tarkin, Sirens, Oha. Interesting deck. It's kind of a different version of Bitter Endings, Death I. Says Tempest Altar or Death, though, but he's not playing the, the Tempest Altar card. So I don't understand what what this is. Why it's called like that. I think we should get rid of the foragers. This watcher we are going to keep, huh? Raptor and face touched golem too. Tomorrow ten daily matches. Plus weekend ranked. Alright. I wanted to stream actually earlier today. To stream before weekend ranked. But I had a lot to do, and then I slept too long. So... We are starting with the weekend ranked right today. And I'm wondering how good the Atlanteans will, will do overall. So much, uh, welcome back! Hello, Konstantinovic. I'm a big fan and I'm working harder and smarter to grow your channel. I'm very concerned that you always play weak clown gods like nature and magic and never play a mainly chat god like Auros. I'm afraid your beer bird will fall out because of low testosterone level. So I ordered 500 fake birds on Amazon. You can wear until your own has regrown from playing Auros. <laughs> this is how we work. Don't think, think outside the box, but think under the box. Oh, thank you so much. Damacha. I'm quite happy. And I hope um, I won't need it. Do you have any idea which war deck I could play right now? Then I'm going to do that on Sunday. Because... Now that I read that, I'm getting worried about my beard too. And it cannot be that I lose all my trading card game skills. Because they are connected to my beard. Auros suck? I guess not. It can't be. Oros hat die Haare schön, hat er. Oros is fine since the OPBS got nerfed to the ground. Not quite sure, I guess we give her the buff. Great flattening out. Do we want to play hurt? Sure, I guess not. Boundaries must be respected. Whoa, what the hell? This looks promising. Coincidentally, they nerfed most shit I hated about the set perfectly timed with Seraph playtest ending. <laughs> it's because you are pulling the strings behind the scenes. What are we going to do here? I really want to get rid of this shit. Now I have time again to haunt you fuckers on the ladder. I'm already looking forward to it, Samacha. I'm not sure if this was alright.
Sense of Rebirth. What the hell is this? Triggers the afterlife of a creature in your void and obliterate that creature. Dread touch repeat. So he was obliterating his two flatlings. I often check my opponent's deck. That has a combo that triggers the afterlife twice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess I have a plan. Let's finish this. Then we finish this. And we pip into Abyss Watcher to get rid of all Okay. All right. I guess it looks solid. Oh no. Economics? What the hell? Oh! Oh, I didn't expect that guy. Ah! Uh, at least he got no dragon in his void right now. So he cannot trigger Void Watch Serpent uh, with Void Watch Serpent stuff. Ah, Tarkin is so sticky! If we buff this one, we have a five four. We could kill this barely, but cannot kill this. Oh, well, we do it. We we kill this one first, and we play boost walker on that one. Right, Tarkin off. King Tarkin. Mm, and hit the. Anything? Yeah. I'm not sure. I guess I'll wait for picking anything. Hey, Venato! Welcome back! Woo! Back to Atlantis! Good luck! Thank you! Take Valka! Don't wait! You think so? Do we need it? For anything? Yes! Hmm, but for what? Two reasons! Ah, please tell me! You want to cycle. Yeah, that's right. But I think he might cycle. By grabbing her? And you do never want him to get it. Yeah, okay. Good uh, argument. Ignite. We got four cards left and five mark. Doing nothing. Oi, dude control. Wow. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome back, man. How was your stream? Okay, let's grab it. It's very powerful against your shit and also very powerful against his shit. Okay. Let's play Dread Replicator. He's powerful too. Uriel, welcome back. Nice to see you. I guess we are good. What's the worst thing he could do? Ah, some bitter ending stuff maybe? Or... 
Bifurcating curse? Yeah, bifurcating curse would be bad. Ah, he's going to kill his siren somehow to send us all to sleep. But we have Valkas now. Thanks to Zamacha. Dude! How are you doing today? Too bad you have Valkas, exactly. Too bad. And I think with his three mana, he's not going to do something crazy. At least if he's not having like Necronomics and Zerus and so on. On C button. Next turn for sure. He's going to die first. Hmm. Nap already finished? This looks Give me the number to buy lottery tomorrow. What? How do I get that number? Yeah. Time to duel. Let's go. Uh, let's let him die. GG. I feel like Atlanteans is a pretty good matchup against Bomb Dragons when you have that, that um, Abyss Watcher twice. And with the two mana Atlantean that gives you the top Atlantean of your car, of your uh, deck. And with um, Dimension Door and so on, you can also get pretty fast through your deck. Was it Bomb Dragon though? Yeah, it was a strange version of Bomb Dragon, which all, uh, where he always was using Bitter Endings 2 and Sirens. It is like, I think, something that tries to marry those decks. If you want to take a look. It looked like Midnight Shadow meme deck. <laughs> Maybe it was a mythic meme deck. Um, here we play against Kartra magic. Kartra magic. I guess we don't need Dimension Door. Face touched Golem is good. Orija is a little bit too flimsy, I guess. Anatol Striker could be okay. I'm not sure if we want to keep a Biswatcher. I guess we probably don't want a Bus Watcher. He's going to kill it with his Blade of White play. It's horror bad. <laughs> Let's get Sentinel Princess gone. That's good. I think so. Let's see how many ways you can disappoint. Tip into our Anna. Sentinel is nice. Soaks one mana, shit. Yeah, okay. Wasting Pip not nice? You sure that's a waste? Yeah, okay, he got Pyramid Warden. Oh, right. If that was good, hmm. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. I actually want to establish board with Atlanteans, so I don't worry in the beginning too much about using the pip or not. Hmm, okay. I see. Oh, that tracking bolt is going to hurt. Or play 1-1 one, one and save Pip? Mm-hmm. My turn. Damn, this is not nice. We could ping and play Undertow Striker and the Dimension Door. We could... Shouldn't play Enduring Archive, I guess. 
Face touch. But it would be nice if we could use the ward on a different creature, though. Hmm. So I guess I... It would, yeah. But Pip is also good. I wouldn't would just ping and chill, probably. Yeah, I think I think it's important to have something on the board. I hope I will not regret this. But he's not having too many cards in his hand. I think it's all right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I wasn't sure about that blade hurts for sure. He's not going to have a second blade, right? My opinion, you wanted to bait removals. This looks promising. Hmm, that about does it. Maybe I should bait removals a little bit with more cautious caution. Maybe. If you face touch, he can't even remove it in a tempo fashion. Yeah, that's right. That's right, actually. Hmm. That means his turns goes to waste. Yeah. Now he should. Now he should discount unbound flames, I guess. So face touched golem is good now. That ha that has a synergy with everything. Yeah, I'm be ping the one one exactly. I'm not quite sure if we want to get rid of the blade. Straight blade, you're sure? I'm not sure about that. But probably, yes. Hmm. He already has so much cards. Kill the blade for sure. So he's going to... And this guy, okay. See. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was important to get rid of the blade here, I guess. Two mana do nothing. So good. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried. Orager boost walker. I don't know. Let's take a look first. What is at the top of our deck? I guess we don't want those, huh? We are going to get now unbound, I guess. This forces to act. Hmm. Two for two guys, he wastes two cards in two turns. Nice music. Grace Taka, welcome back. I'm glad you like the music, man. So, I'm not quite sure. Maybe Abyss Watcher and Excavations Analyst. Not ready for another Unbound. Let's take a look what we could get here. Undertow Excavation. You think so? Let's see. Force him to remove again. We have six mana. Hmm. 
higher acknowledge. That's good. Let's take a look what's gone. Oh, Aiko and Runemuth and Hortak. Crazy. That's really good. A lot of stuff is gone. A lot of good stuff. Now trial and remember to sheep until he CC. <laughs> what? Trial? You sure? What should we get with the trial? The six mana guy. Renny makes no sense yet. How much damage does he have left in deck? Hmm, 25. He got one unbound left. One hatchling? That's eight. With worm breath, 18. Pyric knowledge, 23. Demetrios playwright, ancient texts. Yeah, he got more than 30 for sure. Focus. Fine, flood again. Oh fuck, now I'm too late. A wandering mind treads a dangerous path. What he burned with Peric? He burned. Autark, Rune Moth, Shadow Scryer, Tracking Bolt, and Ico. Yeah, pretty good burns, I guess. And they're looking good for us. I hope so too. I hope so too, Godhand. Hey, dude. Thank you for the raid again, man. I'm not sure about that. I guess Time Bomb, Undertow, and Ping. Abyss, you think? I actually want to play him when he already used maybe another Worm Breath or something that he can copy. Oh, but maybe you're right. Maybe I should have played it. This watcher. But this shit is not contesting anything. Yeah, okay. That's right. He has to invest something into it. On the other hand, he has now no blade left to, to finish Abyss Watcher. The possibilities are endless. Oh, hmm. I am not quite sure. Scuttler Sentry and Ping and Abyss Watcher. Go Abyss, you think so. A wandering mind treads a dangerous path. Duh. 
doesn't really matter, I guess. He got five cards left in his deck. Other line was getting boost walker with replicator so you can deal with this shit. But boost walker won't be any uh, any good. If he can clear the board. But on the other hand, if he clears the board, he might wasting a lot of spells, a lot of damage. Ah, there's a worm breath already. That's good. Blades are still silly card. <laughs> I guess so. Dead in a lot of matches now. It's pretty likely that Scuttler's Sentry is killing something if we use Dread Touch here. Atlant Swan still viable? Huh? Scuttler Dread get boost, I guess so too. But are you sure about boost? I'm not quite sure about Boot Walker. Hmm. Let's take a look at the deck. Maybe if something else makes sense. It would appear I'm out of options. But I guess not. But I guess it looks not good anymore. He can deal too much damage with his creatures, probably. Yeah, he can deal 8 damage now with his creatures alone, and then next turn we are probably dead. Fuck. Hmm, I guess the problem was that we couldn't take over the board again. Yeah, we can get nothing from Sanctum, we don't have enough favor. Trapsterino, mine. Good to see you. How are you doing? You just drew too many high mana stuff in the early game. Hmm. I guess so. And now we are left with nothing. Damn. Archive still in hand since turn two. Hmm, probably. Actually, I wanted to play it on turn four, but I never had the chance. Or maybe turn three with the pip. Usually it's good when you play it early. Let's try again. There was a turn you could have played the Archive at 6 with Ping, but you choose to go Excavation and Rover. I see, I see. Yeah, maybe that was not good.
Our opponent is Bomb Dragon again. Maybe you should have just sacrificed that, yes. Okay. It's Bomb Dragon. We have to be careful here, I guess. He's playing Living Container. And Canopic Horda and Bomb Aya Necroceptor only once. But Burial Worm, he's going heavily on triggering the, the death uh, rattle. Or how is it called here? Afterlife. So. I think we don't want Scuttler Sentry early on. She is good. Undertow and Time Bomb are. Quite okay, but I think I think I want to find Abyss Watcher. Ah, Face Touched Golem is good too. I'm not sure. Let's see how many ways you can disappoint me. There he is. Best of luck. Now I'm just wondering, do we want to waste our pip? Or do we keep it? What could he do on turn one? Maybe the one to afterlife little dragon. I think I think I'll keep the pip when we are going first. Yeah, the small dragon just. Okay. Patience is a virtue. We gotta get the Nightleaf Trapper. My there is his dragon already. That would be unwise. So many possibilities. Burial world. Boundary. I'm wondering if he should play him already. Or if that's too early. Probably. Oh, Franny. Oh, damn, she's so sticky. I feel like this is too early. Oh, cool. 
I think we keep both. I can't do that. You've been gone too long, Illyrian, and soon you will be forgotten. Ouch. Ooh, that hurt. Let's play our replicator here. I think he cannot deal with Project Rise with this deck. He got no bad luck or something like that. Okay, he's focusing now on the replicator. Ah, he can finish it. My turn. A wandering I guess there's nothing really that's worth to get rid of right now. So we probably want to go white. Maybe not too. That's big? What do you mean, God Hand? Next turn, we are ready to grab the Nightleaf Trapper. Rod Parasite. That's definitely worth to get rid of. Ah, this guy again. Uh. This looks promising. Striker is good. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Just go, Biswatch, and you have lethal next turn. You think so? Ah, uh, I'm not sure, man. I'm running out of time. But lethal, I mean friend. Yeah, yeah. 
Ah, tak. Maybe. We need the one Abyss Watcher to stick. And the Striker, yeah, the Striker might stick for sure. Nearly sure. Ah, we should have got rid of Lootable Corpse too, instead of Ghost Queen Nefaru. Okay, but he's wasting now a lot of mana to draw. So he probably will not finish any one of those. I think putting two Abyss Watcher in the deck might be too heavy, but let's see how effective it is with this deck. Yeah, let's see. It makes the, the four mana slot a little bit bulky, I guess. Yeah, you are right. But usually, um, the first two matches this weekend ranked was against um, against Death. So, and they we, we won both. Because of these two Abyss Watchers. Because we always had them when we, we needed them. So, we can now remove his relic and play... Project Rise, isn't that crazy? I guess we keep Boost Walker, probably, huh? Hey Hugo, I'm doing good, thank you! How are you doing? Nice to see you again, man. You haven't been that useful so far, we winning anyway. What do you mean? <laughs> nice to see you rocking Atlanteans. Good luck for your games. Thank you so much. Thank you. Who, who was not useful so far? I think he meant the Abyss. I think Abyss was good all the time so far. Man, very nicely designed, balanced, locked 4-drop we got there. <laughs> yes. Completely. How nice you outsmarted that guy. <laughs> yeah. I hear the ironic undertone in your uh, chat message, Zamacha. I'm good, bro. Thanks, bro, and glad to see you too. Great. Thank you. Nature? What kind of nature are you? Refresh nature. Okay. Refresh nature. He's playing Cornered Howler. And Blood in the Water. We have to keep these in mind. Okay. Shuffle boost Borka in Francesca for sure. This looks good. Let's see how many ways you can disappoint me. Good luck. You go first a lot. Teach me how. Actually, it's pretty easy. How long is your beard? I don't know. Um, when you when you go into Gods Unchained, and you want to go into a match where you go first, you click on that button, and then you go first. If the beard is <laughs> under five centimeters, you are going second. Focus. I guess we wanna... I don't really wanna use the pip on the first turn, but I wanna play something that does damage early on. So that's the secret. Yeah, maybe not 
I thought that was obvious with the beard. I always prefer three pips. Yeah, dude, I know that you do. I know. With Atlanteans, actually, I prefer three pips too most of the time. My turn. Boundaries. In this matchup, he could also maybe deal with uh, Project Rise when he has regression, for example. Or Ritting Wolf Pack. Atlantean's best when going first. I, I always feel a lot comfortable too when I have two pips with Atlanteans. So... If we go too wide, what could be the worst thing he could do? Drag down. He could pip into drag down when we play Rover. Go wide! But how? I guess I, I want to play Abyss or Time Bomb, I think. Because... We don't want to get drag down. I think you want to gamble for drag down? No, I don't want to. Damn it, I'm late for time to duel and Mao. <laughs> hey, Chrissy, welcome back. Good to see you. Place Watcher left side. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Because of blood in the water? Hmm, I don't like her. I don't like her at all. Let's get Franny. No, 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 no. That's enough for now. I will not back down. No blood in the water, please. Drag down. Yeah, I'm afraid of drag down too, but... Maybe he's not having it. He got... 22 cards left in his deck. So... Chance is maybe... A little bit above 25%. If he had... If he had it, he wouldn't have played Zaskia. Hmm... Now, ma one mana regression would do it too. But then we have actually um, Atlantean guys um, left. Lash out. Okay, lash out. I'm fine with that, I guess. He will have answer next turn, I think. You missed the window. Hmm, probably. Pulling friend kills your tempo. Yeah, I had the hope I could... I could play her right now already. If you had Undertow plus two... One dropped out. You had lethal now. Yeah? Or almost. Yeah, I guess almost. Maybe. Hmm. 
quite a waste of mana. Do not underestimate me, brother. Maybe could him be have beaten him down like to seven or something, I guess. A wandering mind treads a dangerous path. Question is, can he pull off his combo now already? Oh, fuck. My turn. So, Raptor, Forager, Raptor, Undertow. If you can find high roll draw for turn 5-5, five, five, you lose most matches anyway. Today I had almost lethal round 1. What? Almost lethal round one. I don't get it. think hopefully he's not having the stuff of aberration yet. that would be a huge problem when he transforms his wolf pack into an eight mana creek Bond and regression. Oh. So lucky that this is still an Atlantean, actually. What happens if he played another one six? Uh, the, the other wolf dies and we get our creatures back. We don't want those. Meine Gegner haben fast immer nahezu tödlichen Schaden. Das klingt nicht gut, dude. Oh, drag down, please. <laughs> sure. Fuck. Oh, nice top deck. No need to dread touch him, I guess. He brings back a base copy of the ones of the first one six. What? Where did he got that base copy from?
Ah, I was answering to Trapsterino. Ah, I see, I see. The possibilities are endless. True, true. But then we heal 30 HP. <laughs> yeah. Creatures destroyed from the first one six disappear. No, dearly departed. No, shit. Ah, god damn it. Hmm. Ah, now we are dead, I guess. Wind conditions are gone. It. This looks promising. It's the circle of life. I was gone for a moment, yeah, and the game seems to be gone too. We are back, so, but, but the game is not back. The game is not back. Seems like it's not loading. Are you dead? Yeah. I guess so. Not connecting us again, huh? Ah, oh, crap. Box unchained. We had a disconnect, though. So it's our problem, I guess. But too bad it's not connecting again. Oh. I wonder who killed it. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, we are losing frames. We are having problems, connection problems. Holy crap. Eighteen wins week and ranked DDoS. Hmm. He was sick of death dragons. Ah, oh, god damn it. I really wanted to play that game out. I guess we could have lost anyway, but it's still sad. Hmm. Yeah, for sure it counts as a loss, don't worry. Maybe not immediately, but for sure it does. We can check it right after the next game.
Ja. Dragon War. Ooh, Dragon War. That's something we could play next week, too. Maybe he conceded right one second before you? I don't think so, man. Shuffle the rover in, I guess. Hmm. Um. What the fort? Ooh, I don't like this hand. I'm not sure about the portable fortress against war. I guess it's weak. The other two, when going second. She's good. Draft change, yeah, yeah. This is better. You keep that. Could get worse. Disappoint me. Let's see how many ways you can disappoint me. I don't have enough. You second Pip Frontline and Undertow? What? No. Really? Don't we want to go more aggressive? He has clear. Yeah, sadly he has. A wandering mind treads a dangerous path. Mm. And later on he got Reckless Dive and Soul Survivor. An end to war. Body. Frontline and Undertow would have played around it and your creatures get protected. Yeah, I see your point. I see your point. Come on. That hmm. Boundaries must be respected. Are we savage strikes and pips? Oh, he doesn't. He's not having savage strike. Rectus, dive. Ouch. The possibilities are endless. Worse, you think? Maybe not worse, since he gotta throw one of his good dragons away. Oh, we have the small bag of tricks. Um, fuck again. Interesting. I was not having that for quite a while. Ooh, I cannot read this. Crap. Okay, this is Bloodbound Cavalry. After you cast a spell, deal one damage to the strongest enemy character. It's 
finish this. Must be respected. Let's see how this plays out. Fox and Chain, we love that, yeah, for sure. Hmm, ah, now he finally draws Savage Strike. Damn it. He can also ping this guy. Pressure is not high enough, and we are low on cards. Need to top deck Franny now. Sal, what's up? How are you doing? Fault? Maybe we can still do it if he cannot clear the board. Let's see. Oh, Wolf Cult Vanguard. Hello, Nachos! Hey, he didn't say crispy! We just need one more nerf in the game. I would assume he will. Hmm. I'm a little bit afraid so too. And that should be enough. Okay, he's down to nine. He cannot grab the rune of health. He can do three damage into his. Ooh. Let's see. The sun sets. The light fades. Day no, Emboni, why? No rabbit. Ah, oh, fuck. The possibilities are endless. We are one off. This is not going to be enough. Oh, it is enough. Actually, we can ping and we can attack with a wand. Oopsie. Lol, yeah. <laughs> I didn't recognize. I was still so upset about the Oni that I didn't recognize we have still lethal. <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm quickly going to get another coffee and then I'll be right back for some more strange Atlantean place where I don't see my lethal. And yeah. I'll be right back.
All right. Go again. Let's try again. Oh, opponent. Hey, Java, welcome back. I'm doing good today, thank you. How are you doing? Next opponent is Bomb Dragon. So, I guess we keep Abyss Watcher and Excavations Analyst. Let's shuffle Dimension Door in. Replicator's too big. Boost Walker might be too big too when we have Bulky Abyss Watcher in hand. So, here we go. I on with this hand, I guess we can afford to. Walker. My turn. Let's get rid of his bomb fly. And we hit the face. There we have the Flatling already. And the town. I'm good, thanks. How would you rate this Atlantean deck compared to your Amazons before? The Irina nerf? Is it on the same level? I think it's even better. I think it might be like... Um... I would guess... If the Amazon deck is a solid 7, then this is maybe 8.5 or even a 9. Yeah, I think, so I think it's really good. Which game is that? Wedgelies, hello, hello, welcome on board. This is Gods Unchained. A card game, apparently. I hope you enjoy it. Nice to meet you. So he's at 22. Hmm, we could play a bus watcher to get rid of those already. But the question is, is it reasonable right now? Hmm. Could also get Flash Buckler and we could ping, but that seems to be a little bit slow. Nice, that sounds very good, but you don't have any flashy Atlanteans? Flashy? What do you mean? Yes, we play a Watcher actually. Since he's going to have problems removing it with his one drops. She at length. Does she like with blitz or what do you mean? No bleach for bomb dragons. Like gold, diamond, ah, okay, yeah, no, I, I only have focused on Amazons. It's way too expensive to get more than one deck. It's just coincidence that I have pulled the Excavations Analyst in gold. So... 
I guess Boost Walker looks like a good idea. And then Smash Buckler to clear the board. Can also grab the Combat Medic for a little heal. I like gold, diamond, etc. Card color thing. I like I like shadow most actually. The purple cards. Boundaries must be respected. My turn. Oh, we are going to heal a little. We're pretty wide on the board. I think we are pretty safe. So, when I'm not mistaken... This is already game number four. We play against death today. And I think this is going to be also win number four against death. Right? Yeah. So it seems like we really found a deck that is a pretty good matchup um, against the current meta. Atlanteans too strong. Do you think so? I think it's not too strong compared to all the other decks. It's just a good matchup against death. Maybe. Maybe Fran is overpowered. But she's locked already. Crescent Wolf into Arndt. Sturiel, yeah. So, what kind of deception is this? Hidden Rush Deception? Hidden Rush Deception? This still exists? Crazy. Nerf Sal! Nerf Dude Control! He lied. <laughs> I'm not going to nerf anyone. Assassin's aim on her, I didn't expect that. And Dark Knives, wow, that's fast. We need to get Valka's discovery. FIFA Detox, welcome back, man. Do you guys think Olympian War? What? Dude, thank you so much. Gifting Cell. Thank you, man. Awesome. Do you guys think Olympian War could be good with Rayos, Pyros, White Poor Guard, Wolf Recruits and cards like that? Ah, uh, I'm not sure. It was good, but I, in this meta, I don't know. Ask Samacha about that. He is the true Olympian expert. Focus. Fuck, he's going to get Valka's discovery, right?
I'm afraid. Yes. He's getting 9 favor next turn, so he can grab that. Looks. So much has gone. We have to ask him later. Olympian dead. Dead for now, maybe. But they are maybe coming back. So much I retired. He didn't. He's coming back. That's enough for now. Yeah, Oli is dead. You think so? I think it's like with Amazons. Um, they are dead for now, but they are going to come back maybe with a later expansion. I hope so, at least. Now he's thinking if you have Bran. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> and that's a good sign. Mm. That means he is not watching the stream. Fair player. Nah, he's not sniping. Otherwise, he wouldn't have gone for face right now. He wants to go face with this too to grab Valka's discovery. Help! All right. Hopla. And he's trading? I didn't expect that. So I guess we are dead. We need to draw a one drop. Or a two drop. Not a boost walker drop. Fuck. Our front line is not helping. Say GG and rope him. No. Let's see if he can't see. He won't. You. Ah, uh, whatever we do, it is, doesn't matter, I guess. We should have maybe kept the favor to grab Valka's discovery now. Ah, uh, that is that was a huge mistake, I guess. Yeah, we should have just kept our favor. I was really so sure that he's grabbing Volker's discovery. Um Hmm. But he didn't. And if he would, he couldn't get the get the front line. The front line doesn't really matter. Hmm. He was quite smart. Yeah, I think so too. Way smarter than I. I meet this clown now. All right, take revenge. Surabi. I stomp him for you. <laughs> How is that Irina price? Uh, Irina got nerfed, uh, wasn't she? That's why it's dropping like a rock. Hmm. This is control magic. I think we have a bad matchup here. But let's see. Maybe we can be fast enough. 
Best of luck. Irena is was playable only in Deception and in Nature, I guess. And now she's not playable anyway anymore. Since Deception and and um also Nature got power from Irena were nerfed pretty hard. They feel pretty useless now to me. Maybe Nature is okay for aggro decks. But still It would appear I'm out of options. Whoa, he's ramping pretty hard. Boundaries must be respected. He playing shaped blast. Oh, shaped blast. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> Irina has always been a terrible designed card. I don't know why it's played. Draw. Here we draw. We want Franny sh for sure soon. Yes. Before we draw next, you want to probably play this one. To take a look what we get. Ah, oh, there she is. That about does it. Shouldn't she be discounted? Draw a card, then reduce its cost by one. If it costs up less than your unlocked mana gems. Okay, I see. Less, yeah, that's we were exactly at four. Oh, that's lucky. Poor guy. Oh fuck, that was the wrong card! <laughs> okay, let's see. If it's a 5 mana card and you're at 5.5, it is still discounted. Okay. Looks like it doesn't really matter. Hi, Piers. Hello, hello. Welcome back, man. Oh, okay. It doesn't really care that I messed up. That's so lucky. Yeah. Hey, Roo. Welcome back, man. Hmm. I feel like my biggest uh, problem in streaming card games actually is that I'm focused like 50-50. 50% on the game, 50% on the stream. And maybe I should just focus more on the game and a little bit less on the chat and the stream. Lol, the guy high rolled me with two dark knives and two stone skin in turn five turns. Ridiculous. Yeah. I think so. That was epic funny. <laughs> so that's good. That makes an entertaining stream, I guess, Godhand. Clowns show at Samacha. Isn't Samacha always doing the clowns shows most of the time? Mm, Vartolka! I haven't played against Vartolka for quite a while. He's playing Irina Magic. Interesting. So it's like card draw magic on crack, I guess. Let's shuffle Boost Walker in and Scuttler Sentry. Whoa, I don't like that. Fanny too. <laughs> what is this hand? 
Godspeed. No one gets in the way of the heart of the cards. <laughs> Most of the time not, especially when you are playing Exodia. Heart of the cards, yeah. What are we going to do here? Oh, I don't like this hand. If we play the princess, he will just attack and ping, I guess. Guess we just draw now. <laughs> it's going pretty wide. And we just get flimsy creatures that are not helpful at all. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know. This is crappy. Boostwalker is huge on Archive. Oh yeah, if the Archive survives. He could still finish him with two little cards. Oh, but yeah, like... Yeah, I thought about this. Fuck. is a virtue. So much resources for one card. Yeah, it was a pretty much a bullet sponge, I guess. But we need it. Take a look. We have just four cards here into play and he got pretty full hand. Bullet sponge. Mm. Still not nice. We need excavation analyst draw. Never heard that. Really? That's a pretty common um, thing to say to like creatures in games that take way too much damage so it takes a huge amount of time to kill them Ooh, applicator hmm. that concoction is now probably probably the strongest Irina got power isn't it Oh, Rova. Hmm. Oh, oh. Fuck. Unbound flames. Hopefully he can't clear the replicator. Yeah, I was hoping to, but... I shouldn't have played that guy yet. 
Never mind. Yeah, maybe I should have just played Boost Walker and pinged or something like that. Ah, oh, damn it. And I make mistakes now. I should have played her later. Oh. Ah, damn it. A wandering mind treads a dangerous path. Final draft. God power should be draw one card and 4c1. 4c1 draw a card, yeah. That would make a huge difference, I guess. Ah, ancient texts too. What a pain. This is not looking good. So you actually know what's your next card you draw. Boundaries must be under. Oh, it's just okay. My next card is X. Do I draw X? Send it to the bottom. Well, I was hoping we can actually kill her right now, but it looks like we cannot. Oh, man. Ah, we are we are done anyway, I guess. A wandering mind treads a dangerous path. Bone of sight. Discounting cards. This is not a good sign. Definitely not. I'm afraid in two turns we are dead. One. This looks promising. Ah, uh, what happened to Warp Engineer? I 
I cannot follow this. I'm extremely confused. Red touch. Ah, okay. But he was gone so late. Wasn't he? Yeah, Mortal Suffering he played. Then Marius, by the way, welcome back and thank you so much. Going to trade. <laughs> it's going for face. Then he will have lethal next turn, I guess. The possibilities are endless. Does it? Let's see if he can finish us now. He discounted something for sure with warp engine. Hmm. Cosmic witness. So can he maybe pull off already? Um, okay, he's just getting so much spell boost and then Worm Breath in our face twice and then we are dead. Oh. line B. 11 damage in our face. What is this doing? Deal damage to a random enemy creature equal to your unlocked mana gems. Deal the same amount of damage to your opponent's god. And now he's just copying that, okay. GG. Crazy. Mm. I'm not quite satisfied with the score. I think if I played a little bit better, we could have made 7-3. But I, I guess in over, overall, I was lucky that I didn't lost, lose more, actually. All right, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'm going to see you tomorrow again. And then we are going to play the rest of Weekend Ranked. And I just hope we can stay in Mythic and we don't fall down to Diamond again. But I guess with Atlanteans, we can do it. So, cheers guys, have a nice day.
And I hope I'm going to see you tomorrow again. Thank you so much for watching again. Good luck for your games, especially for your weekend ranked and for your sealed runs. Cheers, have a good one. Bye bye, Hugo. Bye bye, Zamacha. Bye, Trapsterino. Bye bye, Dude. Bye bye, Godhand. Bye bye, Sal. Bye bye, Ru. Yes. Grace Taka, see you soon. And let's find someone for a raid. Take a look. It's online right now. Hmm, Beelzebub and Anzaimaru. Anzaimaru? I've never heard of him. Let's raid Anzaimaru and take a look what he's doing. Leave him a follow or maybe a comment. He seems to be a new player with a lot of um, playing cards. Maybe you can you can help him a little when he's new. Let's go and bye bye.